What is up guys, Jim Legacy here with a new video. And today we'll be cleaning a NES system that I just bought. It has a few issues, let me show you guys. Now here it is. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that. And it's missing a top under there. And it's missing half of the feet. And it's a little dirty in the vents, kinda. And it came with the controllers. And it came with, what do you call it, the zapper, I think. Like that. And it came with this thing. But the problem is this. I'd be surprised if it boots. There you go. It has this issue where it can't read anything. I need to jiggle it. So the pins and they were doing it. If I would have clinked the game. Yeah, as you can see, it has a problem. So I gotta take this apart and clean these pins out because it has an issue. And clean the whole system. I paid $75 for this to get all this. I think it's a decent deal despite the, the crack right there, which I really don't like. Yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take this apart. I'm not sure how the camera angle looks on here. This is my first time working on this, so don't judge anything because I've never done it before. If you see more videos like this, if the video turns out decent, um, leave a like or comment something if you're into this type of stuff. Or if you're not into watching me do this, um, turn what you might want to see, like some more explore videos maybe. I wish I had my other tool. I had a tool where you stick a magnet gun in and grab it, but um, I don't know where that went, honestly. Okay. I should have got my divider to put my shoes in. Yeah, you already see how unprepared I am for this video. But I already know it's six screws that hold the bottom, so I put those there. Let's see how dirty it is. Oh my gosh. This is pretty dirty. Look at that dirt right there. Look at this. I, I don't even want to touch that. It's, it's all over this thing. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to assume these four streets come off. Or... I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. So I don't think how this is going to fall. I, I, I did a good job playing that game. I was like, why this thing ain't playing? Honestly, this might be the reason why, honestly. Did not know it was gonna be this dirty. I guess that's part of it too. Well, there you guys have it. This is why this thing wouldn't work. All right, let's try lifting it now. No, I'm trying not to yank it and tear this thing up. I. I thought I took a... Yeah, look how disgusting that is. So, I guess put the shoes in here to let me know that these go to. My god, this thing is disgusting. I am definitely to wash my hands after this. I'm wondering, I think these are, think these are different sizes. I think the ones on the outside are the same. I think the ones on the inside or the ones that are different. I'm doing pretty decent because I didn't really watch any of videos when I do this. Because I'm trying to make my own video, which please do not follow how I'm doing this. I might be doing it wrong. So don't, don't go either that's an instruction video, go to another one. Because I'm just I'm just guessing. To remove two screws, man, I'm doing a solid job at this, but you have to remove two screws right here and right here. And then you say you gotta lift it like this. And pull it forward. And that's how you remove this thing. Put those right there, let the some screws go. And then he said you gotta play a tug of war just a little bit. Okay. Oh, 
show the badge. Places? Oh my god. I don't know. I hope those aren't bad. Um, there's a board. I'm gonna flip this over. Oh, because this thing is disgusting and dirty. Player one goes in the front, player two goes right there. I hate pulling on the wires, because it won't. You ain't supposed to pull on the wires, but... Dang, this thing's stuck. That's out. Dang, this oil shield's horrible. But well, look at all this. This thing either been water damage or something. I don't know. Seems dirty though. Yeah, it's dead bug in there too. All right, the motherboard, man. Well, system's a little. Closing on this. I don't know. Maybe I try to sand on top of it, but this whole part looks dirty and nasty as can be. But the board itself looks okay. Not great, but it's okay though. I don't even know where to begin. Should I worry about trying to fix the board? Should I worry about trying to clean this stuff? I don't even know where to begin with it. I guess I could start with trying to find something to clean these contacts with on this board and then work from there and try to clean this. And then after all that, we'll work on cleaning the case. I don't know. I guess this place is messed up or what? I don't know what happened right here, it's not coming off either. Dust it on, I guess. I was thinking maybe I should just dust, um, get the weapon I call under it and just scrub some of this because it looks kind of like corrosion or something. So, that is some boiling water. I'm not sure how long it's been, but take it out. <sighs> okay, but this is nice and clean. Fog up the phone. That might be good enough. Maybe one more go. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's test it. I put it halfway together. On the first try. Playing in a weird way, by the way. There you guys have it. I actually fixed the uh, issue with it. Now it reads games. And it hasn't froze on me, so I fixed that now. I guess throwing uh, the chip in the boiling water and scrubbing the connectors and it has a rust on it worked. And I already wrapped on the motherboard with some alcohol, at least the bottom I did. Now I need to take this back apart and get, get all this junk out of it. Okay guys. I managed to um, fix the issue with a not reading game. And it played that game perfectly, which I couldn't believe it. I thought it wasn't gonna work with those rust spots on that uh, connector. Now let's figure out how to get this out. So. 
I'll just wipe a lot of it. Man, collusion all over this thing. Got that out. I'm gonna assume these two shoes right here take that whole piece off. Yeah, this system is really rusty. Like a there. Okay. So, I'm just gonna wipe it down, rinse it off in the sink. But I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning in front of y'all. Just got to watch. I'm probably judging how I'm playing this thing. But go ahead and go over this again. Uh, uh um, off, off camera, I guess. Now I guess we'll try to. Honestly, y'all, I'm doing a better job than DK Oli. <laughs> Cause people say DK Oli is terrible. It'd be fun just a DK Oli system. That'd be hilarious. But not even DK always can do this job. I'm, so, y'all might say my refurbishing is terrible. I'm doing a poor job. Hey, I'm doing better than uh, DK always. So, I'm not saying I'm doing terrible at cleaning this thing. No, I'm doing like, the best I can at cleaning this thing. But, I'm, at least I'm cleaning it unlike DK always. Well, guys, as you can see, I have finally cleaned it up. Got all the junk out of it. Got all the dirt out of the vents. Still, I think it's still the stain right there, but it's the best I could. But I cleaned this sucker up, and made it look nice and new. I wiped down the buttons on the sides, and I cleaned these pieces. And I did my best to get rid of that big chunk of rust that was on here. I think it was right here, so most of it's gone. Still has a few spots, but it looks better. And that's about it. Um, System turned out amazing. Vents are now clean. The most part still the spots, but it looks a lot better. And I was tested out. Because before, this thing would never really play a game at all. Now it plays, let's see, on the first try. It should be the first try. On the first try. That's a big improvement from before. This thing struggled to play any games if you were looking for it to boot. Now this thing boots up instantly, no problems. This thing has been fully refurbished now. Clean, no junk in, no dust. Most of the, the rust is out. And now I can finally enjoy the system. Now they clean up disgusting controllers and I'll be down with the system. Now it's time to clean these uh, controllers. Didn't test this one, it's zip tied. I'm gonna assume it works though. So, get this off. But yeah, that system turned out nice. I can't believe it. It's a thousand times better looking. It plays way better. I'm gonna wipe this dusty wire down. Controller. So yeah, I f fully fixed my NES Elastic system. And that was my first time ever dismantling that because I've never took apart um, an NES or owned one, by the way. I've never owned it. It's my, that was my first time uh, 
ever looking at that system in person. And this is my first time even holding one of these controllers, by the way. Well, this is an N64. Not much to it. Any, let see, any screw coating in or nothing. Get that alcohol real quick. Uh, throw the case in the, some water and clean it down. And I'm not going to do uh, the video of me cleaning the other controller because it's basically the same thing. I'm just going to do this one controller and then y'all see it. Let me just dump all this out, and I can just go wash these in the water. So I'm moving that to the side. Uh, I'm... There's something nasty in there too. But I got my seventy-five dollars worth though. Because I fixed the system and the system didn't die after all that work I did. Well, mostly because I just don't feel like going through all that. And the video will last just way too long to go see a video and clean that. And I'm hoping that people would actually enjoy this video though. I'm hoping people watch it, give it a thumbs up because I am putting a lot of work and time into this. Because I probably would have been done well. Not, not really, I'm taking my time playing this, but what I mean is I gotta spend a while to edit this video and upload it and have fun trying to figure out how I'm gonna either edit this on my phone or edit it on my computer. Computer's easier, but, well actually computer can get better edits, I think, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get all of these transferred over to that computer. That's the only problem I don't like about uh, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about about this type of stuff. So the control is basically done. I'll go dry it off, and I'll just reassemble it. I'll pop it down in time lapse. It's taking me too long. All right, guys, it's refurbished now. Oh, they cleaned it. Why is it clean? Now I just gotta clean this dirty one now. You can see how dirty it is already. And here's how this one looks. Looks better. But it's still better. I just only flip this one. I'm gonna do this off camera. But y'all get the picture though of what I'm doing now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you need to jump, please like and subscribe. And if you like videos like this, guys, let me know. I'll do more videos like this. But thank you guys for watching. Peace.